<clears throat> Welcome back. It's been a while since these reviews now hasn't it been. Yeah. This is my review of Wanna Be the Strongest in the World, episode 7. Oh boy. <clears throat> oh boy, indeed. So, yeah, this episode, oh my god, like I always do, I'm going to be probably laughing throughout this entire fucking episode review, because the series is not good, but, basically, very, very, it was a very simple episode, it basically consists of a new character introduced named Jackal Tojo, by the way, what fucking stupid name is Jackal, like, seriously, but yeah, her name is Jackal Tojo. And the episode basically consists of her being like the world champion. She's out of Japan, I guess, for quite some time now. And she comes back, and if you remember the Sakura's teacher, yeah, Jackal was her teacher. Uh, Alright, and th they actually end up talking about Sakura with each other quite a bit, and she says that Sakura reminds her a lot of herself when she was starting out and whatnot. And then... Jackal, and then she's actually supposed to be Jackal's opponent, but she ends up getting injured in a, in a, in a fight. Misaki, that's what her name is. Alright, and so Jackal has to choose another opponent, and by the end of the episode, she ends up choosing Sakura, because she's very impressed with Sakura, which is kind of funny, because actually, that's completely fucking obvious. This series doesn't even attempt to hide this shit. Alright. So yeah, but there was actually another wrestler introduced, and it, well, we don't know the true identity of yet, but she called herself the uh, Blue Panther, I believe, or something like that. So I assume that at first she's going to choose the Blue Panther to be her, her opponent, and that maybe, maybe like later on, obviously, Sakura would end up facing her. Um, but, no, apparently not. I don't know, she might still fight the Blue Panther later on, but... She, apparently she's not right now. Right now she's going to fight Sakura. Maybe in the next episode. Maybe not. I really don't know and I really don't care. Um, once again, the animation is not great, obviously, but it's way better than it has any business being, actually, actually being. And, <clears throat> and, and like, there was actually very little uh, fight. Very little of it. In comparison to most of the previous episodes, most of it was actually most of the uh, so was actually talking, which is kind of weird to for a wrestling anime. But what hat went where its main selling point? Okay, its only selling point is the fan fucking fan fan service. But what? Yeah, what have you? Um. That's pretty much all I want, all I have to say, and all I want to say about this episode. It was very bad as always, but it was still humorously bad. So humorously bad that I'm actually going to continue the series, despite my better judgment. Which isn't that great, mind you. Okay, I'm done. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this review, guys. See you after, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.